Ah oh, yeah, bitches, it's your boy Dizasaurus back with another review today on a very, very special silver card. And that is Lewis Graban. He's uh, in form. He's got promoted from uh, bronze to silver. So uh, that's very good. I had to pick him up because he is English, so he will be expensive. He cost me 300 grand. Uh, he plays for Bournemouth uh, all round. Very, very good stats on the card. 77 shooting, which is very, very high. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that was a very big bonus for me. On the card, uh, he's got 80 curve, 83 finishing net in game, 77 shot on card, which is very good. 84 pace, which is good on the card, also. 92 penalties there, 85 shot power, which is very high. I noticed his free kicks was very good. Uh, his medium low, three star weak foot, three star skills, which is good. 99 agility there, which surprised me. Uh, all round physical attributes were pretty good. Uh, but mental attributes were lackluster, but uh, Graban's probably not that kind of player. But he picks up an assist in game one straight off the bat, which is very, very good. He sets up Defoe, and Defoe slams into the top corner. And uh, he picks up the goal uh, in this, this clip here, and uh, it was a very good tidy goal there. Uh, I was very pleased with that. So he, he did actually pick up a hat-trick in the first game. Which I was very, very happy. But um, all round, guys, this guy was solid all round. He was pace. He was strong. He, uh, his dribbling was lacklustre, if I'm honest. But his shooting was uh, second to none, guys. It was unbelievable. Whack this guy up in an English silver team with a bonga hole up front and you're laughing. This guy was very, very strong. He is six foot as well. Look at this beautiful curled shot there. That was an unbelievable goal. I was so, so happy with that. That just shows how good his finishing was. Uh, and also, guys, his passing was actually really good in the game. Uh, he did set up a few goals, and he did uh, pass uh, some brilliant passes through and over the top, so I was very happy with that. He picked up an uh, assist, and he hit the post, uh, which is uh, very good. And in game three, I come across his 3-5-2 uh, Italian league team, which is a pretty strong team all round, and uh, he gets a penalty straight off. But... If I do remember, he, he did miss the penalty. He's got 92 penalties, guys, and uh, he did miss it. But nevertheless, 92 penalties on a silver is unbelievable. 99 agility as well, guys, but his dribbling was pretty poor. Uh, but his, uh, his turning was strong, obviously, because of his agility. Uh, but... For me, his dribbling was a downfall. Another downfall for me was his heading. He, although he's six foot, I would have thought maybe he should be heading some goals in. But he actually did not score a single header for me. So that was a shame. But I got a few free kicks with him. And all of them went on target. Some of them maybe should have gone in. But uh, unfortunately, it didn't. I'm only doing six games today, guys. Because unfortunately, my capture card fucked up. And uh, I, can't, I can't get the sixth game. And that game, he actually performed the best. So I was very, very annoyed with that. He got a free kick and everything. Uh, so that was very disappointing. But back to uh, Graban and his uh, capabilities there. He slams it into the corner, which is a very good goal there. I was extremely happy here. And he's showing off his finesse shots into the bottom corner. His finesse shots was unbelievable, guys. That is where I feel like his biggest increase was in his shooting was his finesse shots. He's got good shot power. So uh, don't take that away from him. He can score from near post with both feet. Surprisingly, with his three-star weak foot, he could score with his left foot pretty well. I've used some three-star weak foot players, and they've been shit at near post and stuff with their left foot. But I have to admit, this man here was uh, very, very good at near post with his left foot, and he, he shot it with some power, so I can't argue with that. And in game six, I come across his strong team, and he scores straight off the bat uh, with a great goal there, and I was very, very pleased. All round, he was a very complete player. I would recommend this guy if you got the coins. He will be expensive because he's uh, silver and because he's uh, obviously uh, English so that is what you're the price you are paying but obviously all round his finishing is is the reason why you pay for him because this guy can finish especially when you take him up against silver team but anyway I'm gonna wrap this review up and take you straight into uh, the overall attributes and what I thought of him and overall rating he got an 8 out of 10 the reasons for that was uh, his strengths were shooting, strength, passing and pace. And his weakness was dribbling and heading. They dropped him down quite a bit. I didn't feel like he deserved anything higher than 8, and a t 8 out of 10. But I definitely recommend him picking him up if you're getting an English silver team or anything like that. I was playing with him against golds. So obviously uh, it just shows how quality he is against golds and gold keepers as well. So obviously don't take that away from him. This guy was absolutely unreal. 
but as always guys uh, it's been a pleasure having you at this review and it, uh, it'd be a pleasure to have you like subscribe and comment down below what you thought and I'll catch you guys next time peace out